Now I'm going to move along to the fourth tool. The third tool I'll do in the next video, but I'm going to skip and go to the fourth tool, which is Extract Faces and Edges. What this does is extract a copy of a face or an edge from a 3D object. So for example, this front face here, I could take out as a face, leaving the object untouched. So first draw this shape for me. Just use the Place Smart Line tool using straight lines. So you draw this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge, then drop a vertical down from there, draw a horizontal across there, then use the Fillet tool to place that curve, and then make this whole face a closed shape. Then you can extrude it in that direction. So when you've done that, we'll start the tool. And looking at the tool settings window, we have a couple of options. We can do faces, we can do edges, and we could do untrim surfaces. I'll show you how each one works. So faces first. I notice that we have some attributes here. So I'm going to actually change the color from a green to red. So my extracted faces will be red. So let's see how this works. It says select a face to extract. That will be this one. Simply data pointing in the middle of the face will select it. And I data point again and the face has been turned into just lines rather than a solid. Now the face remains in place. I need to move that. So the quickest way to do that is to make a selection set of that and just move it. So there's the extracted face of that solid object. Let's try another one. Tools running again. This time let's pick up the three faces that make up this face here. So we'll select that face. Hold down the control key, select that face and that face. Let go of the control key, data point, and there are my three faces. You will need to make a selection set of this because if you try and drag all three away at once, it won't work because they are individual faces. Let's undo that. Let's go in and make another selection set. And we can extract those two. Okay, I'm going to undo those actions. And we'll go back to the object again. And this time I'm going to change from faces to edges. And as you'd expect, if I data point on an edge and accept it, then that edge is extractable. So now I need another selection set to pick that up and I can move it off. There, an edge extracted. And you can hold down the control key to extract more than one edge if you wish. I'm going to undo that and that. And let's look at the last option which is untrimmed surfaces. Well, let's see what happens when I use this. The prompt is to select a face to extract. And I'll select this one again. So data point in that face and accept it. And what I get is this. There's the untrimmed face. And you can see why they call it untrimmed. It's simply the base shape of that face before any trimming was applied. So as always, please practice those three different methods. Try them on different objects to see the results.